Hey there. Let's open some more shit. Starting off, we have play mats. It's Gigi. And we also have Mizuki. Next is something my sister wanted. It's two controllers for UFO catchers. The only thing it needs batteries for is... I also got a small Kita-san. And another bigger Kita-san. And a whole set of Choco figures. It's Kita-san, Diamond, Kale, and McQueen. What sucks is Kita-san got damaged in transit. I'll try to glue it back on later. For now, here's all the figures I got. All the Uma Musumes. Also got some manga for the collection. 2.5D Seduction. And Ayakashi Triangle. And now for the Dojins. I got stuff from Comic Cal 103. I usually go to one either summer or winter and then buy it online for the other. This one I was excited for. It's the first time they printed a doujin so I had to get it. Majority of it is Amiya overworking the doctor. This one is an art book by Hia. Sometimes they make bonus goodies when you buy their works. And there's a W. Sakima makes these crying Amiyas that I think is super cute. And this book is an archive of all of them. It's mostly Amiya, but they sometimes draw other operators, like W. I also bought something else from them that I think is funny, which I'll reveal later. This one's actually made by Kyozip. If you don't know who they are, they are the mangaka for the Arc Knights manga operators. This artist is famous for drawing, if you couldn't guess, Kita-san Black. I bought from her last time at Comic Cat 102. She had two books this year, and one is her 100 day challenge where she drew 100 drawings in 100 days. Curry Rice drew a lot of super cool and cute outfits for the Hollow Life girls. I was super excited for Takeshi Tachi. Last time I saw him attend Comic Cat, it was during Comic Cat 96. He's one of my favorite artists of all time, and he's also the artist for Trapped in a Dating Sim. I got the book, the acrylic stand, and the wall scroll, which I'll show later. And here we have Pigeon. It was his first time boothing at Comic Cat. He's a Western artist that I bought prints from before during Anime NYC. It took me by surprise when he said he was gonna be at Comic Cat. Also got from Mudo, who's the artist for the VTuber Nyaners. I used to buy from them a lot when they used to draw a lot of Tamamos. Speaking of Tamamo, this is Wada Arco's set. He goes to every Comic Cat, but only does Fate stuff in winter. When I went to Comic Cat 102, he made crony stuff. It's usually the same style of merch. You get some kind of folder, a sticker sheet, a bonus item, and a book. The Fate stuff he makes is always from the X series, since, well, he's the official artist for it. The creator of D, Tamamo no Mae. Next up we have Gotchard. I gave the Kamen Rider series a chance starting with Gotchard since it's new and enjoyed it. I have the belt and after recent episodes I thought about buying the gun. Now we just swipe and insert the card. Pew, pew, pew. I also got the S. Scott Jolly Bear attachment for my belt. The cards look so cool and shiny. Time to ready up the belt. And now we attack. And insert X Rex because he's the coolest. And then Henshi. And here's the wall scroll I bought from Takeshi Tachi. 
and that thing I bought from Sakima is a body pillow cover, but not that kind of body pillow cover. This is the front, cute and all, but the back is where it's at. Amiya goes splat! I did buy a spicy body pillow cover though. It's a Kurumi, because I'm a Kurumi main. Here's the front, and here's the back. Here's a better look at the wall scroll and the body pillows. And that's it. That's all the stuff I bought. Well, there's actually one more thing, and I already showed it. Right at the very beginning, I finally got the plush I commissioned from Cemetery Chan two years ago. It's of my old outfit design, but I still love it. I always wanted a plush of something I drew. Now Small Nep can be Cat W's playmate. Well, that's it for this video. Bye, guys.